Tony. Tony. Why the hell haven't you left town? I have my reasons, and one of them is to stop you from endangering your marriage. I told you to stay in my personal life. Look, you have let this ridiculous gossip from the hospital affect your relationship with the woman that you love. There is not a shred of evidence that John and Kristen are having any kind of a relationship. Well, I saw Kristen in John's arms. I saw them kissing. John forced himself on her. You have said yourself many times how shamelessly he has pursued Kristen. I'd like to believe that's all it is. But you see, I've got to be certain. Because if John has indeed pursued my wife and seduced her, well then, I've got to plan everything right down to the last detail. Plan what? My revenge. Tony, Tony, Tony. I beseech you. Give up the charade of being blind. Hmm? You have no reason to suspect Kristen. She loves you. Tell me something, Father. If you're so convinced that John and Kristen are innocent, that they're not having an affair behind my back, then why are you so persistent in stopping me from verifying that for myself? Because you are my son. Because I love you, and I am concerned for you and your marriage. I'm concerned about my marriage. Then give up this ridiculous charade. All right? This fantasy of yours. Tony, believe me, I understand what suspicion can do to a man. I understand and I know how it can poison a relationship. Do not let this happen to you and Kristen. Do not destroy the most precious thing in your life, your marriage. Yes, a marriage is built on trust, not lies, not betrayal. Yes, and Kristen is innocent of all of these things. Well, if John and Kristen are innocent of all these things, then they have nothing to fear from me, have they? Tony, look. I want you to promise me something, all right? Don't do anything rash. <laughs> oh, Father, I can promise you that. I never do anything rash. Now, excuse me, I have an appointment to keep. By the way, you know, if you really want to help me, Leave Salem and don't return. Thank goodness. Kristen and John are too smart to give themselves away in front of him. Even though they think he's blind. So far, they are safe. Charles. Yes, sir. Take me to the Horton Center. Yes, sir. I think Kristen has a meeting there at the Horton Youth Program. Undoubtedly, John will be there. Give me another chance to observe and see if anything's going on. <laughs>